This demonstration shows how to set and change bars in the Gantt chart. Select the table font and row icon from the toolbar. Note the spacing between the lines has been increased to allow for additional labels in the Gantt chart. Select OK. To change bar settings, select the bars icon in the main toolbar. Check the display box to set the project baseline bar to display. Note the bar settings, yellow bar and a large profile. Select Apply. Select the float bar. The float bar will show any float in the project. Select Apply to set the float bar in the Gantt chart. Select the remaining work bar. Select the bar settings tab. The grouping bar bands can be set to show bars when collapsed. Set show bars when collapsed. Note bar necking settings can be used to show calendar non-work time. Check calendar non-work time. Note how the remaining bar profile changes. Select the critical remaining bar. Check show bar when collapsed. Check calendar non-work time. Select current bar labels. To set labels, select the bar labels tab. In the bar labels tab, select add. In the new label entry, click in the position cell. Note the options for locating labels. Select left from the list. To select a label, click in the label cell. Scroll down to locate original duration. From the drop down list, select original duration. Note, as you add more labels, the white space in the Gantt chart will need to be increased. You can do this using table font and row settings. Select add again. Click in the position cell for entry 3. From the list select top center. Click in the label cell for the third entry. Use the scroll bar to locate variance BL project duration in this case. Select variance BL project duration. Select apply. Select OK. Note how the bars now show calendar non-work time. Click the negative sign on the WBS to reduce the WBS. Note that the Minimize WBS Summary Bar now displays activities. This enhances reporting views. Expand the WBS by clicking on the plus sign. Note, top centre of the activity bars display variance PL project duration. On the left, the original duration is set, with activity name set to the right of the bar. In the Gantt chart, the float bar displays, indicating where work has been delayed which is now affecting completion deadlines. Select bars from the main toolbar. Select the current bar label bar. Select the bar labels tab. Click in the label cell for entry 3 to make a change. Find the new label to use. Select the new label, Variance BL Project Start Date in this case. Select Apply to make the change. Using the Apply feature lets you check what you have done before clicking OK. Select OK to close the bars window. Note, the value set in the top centre of the bars is now Variance BL Project Start Date. Different Gantt chart settings and labels enhance visual presentation of project information, Variance in this case. The Activity Usage Profile is also useful to display project information in histogram format. Remember, the more labels are added to the Gantt chart, the more white space required to ensure labels display correctly.